play is just so much fun to do. It, it's like getting on a train, right? When we start this play, it's like stepping onto a train and it kind of carries you along as only really, really great writing can. Well, my character, Winnie, is inexplicably discovered in a mound of earth up to her waist, amusing herself as best she can. And we discover that her husband, Willie, is down behind her. Yoo-hoo! Willie! He is not buried, but he is immobile. So he's either just kind of crawling, or he can't go anywhere even though he's not in the ground. Uh, she remains ever positive, even though she's in these unbelievably bleak circumstances. Under the, under the, under the glaring sun. sun, she just goes about her day. Laughing wild and severest woe. It just, it feels very, very timely. And there are times when it's very, very funny, and sometimes when it's darkly funny, and sometimes where it's just incredibly uh, bare bones truthful. It sneaks up on you. I mean, it's really a surreal play. And so he was really hoping to touch people on a visceral level that had nothing going past their mind completely and getting to the feelings. And I think that. That makes it really exciting, especially in a small theater, 75 people, I mean, couldn't be better. Yeah.